Hey everyone, this is your stimulus update for Friday, June 19th. This stimulus update is for those of you that are wondering about the second stimulus proposals and for those of you that still haven't received your first stimulus payment and including those of you that are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Retirement Disability, VA benefits and survivors and railroad retirement benefits recipients. If this is your first time to my channel, be sure to subscribe right now so that I can keep you up to date on all the latest from the stimulus package proposals and for those of you that haven't received your first stimulus payment, how you can get some more information about your stimulus payment. If you're interested in hearing about the second stimulus packages and proposals that are coming out and what the government leaders are saying right now, be sure to stick around till later in the video because that's when I will talk about that. But for now, let's talk about the first stimulus payment and to those of you that still haven't received your first stimulus payment, let's talk about some things that you can do to get some more information or to get your first stimulus payment. First off, but I'm so sorry you guys are still waiting. It's ridiculous that you're still waiting and that the IRS is taking this long to get you your payments. I still get comments from so many people every single day saying that they still haven't received their payments. And I'm so sorry about that. And I wish there was something I could do more than just give you the information that I have. And once again, this is what you can do. First off, you need to check the Get My Payment tool. The Get My Payment tool still is the best way for you to get updated information regarding your stimulus payment. If you're not getting into the Get My Payment tool, there's usually some reasons why. If you're getting information does not match our records, the reasons for that are usually because your address isn't matching with what the IRS has on file. I'm going to go ahead and guess that your social security number and birth date are correct with what the ad with what the IRS has, but it's the address that's incorrect. So when formatting your address, make sure you go to the USPS uh, zip code lookup tool and use that. And I've gone over that in previous videos, so I'm not going to go over it again, but use the USPS lookup tool and I'll leave a link to that in the description below to enter in your address and then it will format your address. Make sure you only enter in the street. You don't need the city, state, and zip code until the zip code field you need to enter your zip code. But don't put your city and state in the address field. Only the address as it shows up on that USPS uh, zip code lookup tool. Also, if you have a representative payee, make sure you put in your representative payee's address instead of your own. And in addition to that, try old addresses that the IRS may have on file for you. Those are the tips for getting you into the Get My Payment tool. If you get payment status not available, that usually means that the IRS still hasn't processed your payment and hasn't given you a payment date yet. It can, however, also mean that you are not eligible. Make sure you are not claimed as a dependent on anyone else's taxes and make sure that you are below the income limit and that you are over the age of 17 by the end of 2020. If you fit those requirements, you should be eligible for a stimulus payment. The, the Get My Payment tool is one thing that you can do. In addition to that, you can also call the IRS. I know calling the IRS has been a pain and has been frustrating for so many people and for most people that call the IRS, they are beyond frustrated. But in some cases, the IRS is the only one that can give you the answer to your question. I can guess and I can use my, you know, my best guess based on the information that I have and from the information that I have researched and know, but the IRS is the only one that can give you your specific answer for your specific payment. Calling the IRS and talking to a representative is probably your best bet in getting that answer other than the get my payment tool which you can keep checking and watching but i will leave numbers for both the irs general line and the irs stimulus hotline the irs general line is 1-800-829-0582 and that's and then you have to dial extension 652. when you call the irs general number you can't just say where's my stimulus payment you have to say something different like I think my stimulus payment may have been taken by someone else, or I think my stimulus payment may have gone to an incorrect address or something to that effect. You can't just say, hey, where's my stimulus payment? Or you will be redirected to an automated message and then you're gonna be frustrated and upset again. So that's if you call the general IRS hotline. If you call the IRS stimulus hotline, just understand 
that they have way fewer reps than they have phone calls. If you get a rep that can't help you, and so a lot of them can't, you'll need to call back and try again. Calling the IRS is a pain and it's gonna take you a lot of time. But is it, is it gonna take more time than waiting another you know, three months like you've been waiting now? Maybe not, but keep calling the IRS. And from what I've heard, calling the IRS early in the morning is the best time to get a hold of someone. I know the general IRS hotline is only Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. and that's in your local time zone. And from what I've heard, calling right about 7 a.m. or right at the first of the day is the best time to call. So keep trying that. I know it's frustrating. I know most people aren't getting a lot of help from calling the IRS, but at this point, what you know, I don't, I don't know what else you can do. So if you find this information in this video helpful, be sure to like this video and so YouTube will share it with others. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. So let's talk about the second stimulus package and proposals that are out there. And I'm gonna talk about what all of the federal government leaders are saying right now and mostly in the Trump administration, what they're saying, because that's kind of who we're waiting on, the Trump administration well, and the Senate. So Steve Mnuchin, the treasury secretary, while talking about sending direct payments to individuals like the $1,200 first stimulus payment, Steve Mnuchin said, the appeal of direct payments is it's very fair way of getting money to everybody in, a, in the economy. And this is in addition to what he said last week when he said regarding another round of stimulus, it's something that we're very seriously considering. So Steve Mnuchin is talking about another direct payment and it's something that they're very seriously considering. So President Trump, when talking about uh, the next stimulus package, he said, I think we're working on something that's going to be very dramatic, very good. He said that in an interview and he said, I think we're looking at a phase four and by phase four, he means the next stimulus package. We've already had phase one, two, and three. And he says, I think we're looking at a phase four. Phase one, two, and three have been fantastic for people generally, small business owners also, but we're looking at doing something else. So he's saying they're definitely looking at the next stimulus package and proposal. So there is going to be another stimulus. And the question becomes, you know, whether that's gonna be a direct payment for individuals and when Trump was specifically asked if there would be a direct payment for individuals, he did not confirm nor deny that there would be payment to individuals. So basically it sounds like they're still trying to decide if there will be a direct payment to individuals or not, but he didn't deny it. He didn't say flat out, no, there won't be. So that's good news and that's, that's a good sign. So, so far we have the treasury secretary and president Trump, both of which you know, haven't at least denied that there will be another stimulus directly to individuals. And Steve Mnuchin is a lot more positive on whether there will be one. So Vice President Mike Pence, when he was talking to Charles Payne on Fox Business Network, he was talking about the infrastructure bill because there's been talk about this infrastructure bill that was gonna be part of the $2 trillion stimulus that the Trump administration has been talking about. The $2 trillion stimulus would most likely mean there is a bunch for infrastructure is what we were thinking, and then the rest would be for other areas. And with $2 trillion and half of it being used for infrastructure, people were worried that there wouldn't be enough for stimulus payments directly to individuals. However, Mike Pence, when he was talking to Charles Payne, said, I think our expectation now is that infrastructure will be part of a separate piece of legislation, and this is great news, a separate piece of legislation, there is roughly a $400 billion infrastructure bill that with the president and our team have had conversations with about on Capitol Hill. So there would be a separate $400 billion infrastructure bill separate from the $2 trillion bill that the White House administration has been talking about. That's great news. The first CARES Act, that was just right around $2 trillion. So if the next stimulus package is $2 trillion, there is a very good chance that there is going to be another stimulus payment direct to individuals. So what Mike Pence said is huge news that that infrastructure bill, $400 billion, would be a separate bill from a stimulus package. So that's great news, that's amazing news. Um, so let's talk about what Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said. Federal, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has pretty much been the one I mean, other than, other than uh, some of the 
uh, members of the House of Representatives. But Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has been one of the ones that's been pushing and pushing for more stimulus payments direct to individuals. And he says, this direct support can make a critical difference, not just in helping families and businesses in time of need, but also in limiting long lasting damage to our economy. Federal Reserve Jerome, Chairman Bert, Jerome Powell is the one in charge of printing all this money that we're doing for all these stimulus payments. And he's totally on board with more stimulus payments direct to individuals. So that's what everyone is saying. So Steve Mnuchin, President Trump, Mike Pence, and Jerome Powell, all four of them, from what they're saying, whether directly or indirectly, it sounds like there's gonna be another stimulus payment direct to individuals. Great news, the, the bad news of course is the Senate's gonna be on recess here in a, in a couple weeks and they're not even gonna talk about the next stimulus package and proposal until later in July. They're on recess from July 3rd till July 17th, which is totally ridiculous. So after July 17th, they'll be back from their recess. I think it's the 21st is when they get back and then they'll start deliberating the next round of stimulus packages. So most likely the, the next round isn't going to even happen until late July. And then they'll deliberate it, they'll have to approve it and pass it, and then it'll have to go back to the House of Representatives and then to President Trump to sign. If both the House and the Senate pass something, President Trump will sign it. That's your update for Friday, June 19th. I hope you're you're doing okay. I know so many of you are still struggling and just trying to figure out how to feed your families and everything else. And my heart goes out to you guys. And I'm, I'm so sorry that you're still waiting on that first stimulus payment. I'm really hoping that we can get this economy back going again so that a lot of you can get the help that you need. Thank you once again so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon.